All right, today we're doing an airflow test on this Eureka Bravo 10 amp. I picked this thing up at a thrift store and there was a 12 amp one right next to it, but I knew these were known to be loud and I didn't want <laughs> I didn't want a 12 amp one which I wouldn't really want to use due to its noise. So this thing was not a lot of fun to work with cuz I actually had the uh the nut on the armature strip off because I tried turning it to the right first and then I tried turning it to the left because it wasn't moving and next thing I know the nut's spinning free and it's like oh that's wonderful so I ended up having to order a a, uh, a new old stock armature off eBay so I could get this thing running but you know fortunately Got it in there, everything's back together, got it running again, so on with the testing. Well, that's certainly nowhere near 10 amps, because it should be running at about 1200 watts. Um, huh. Interesting. I'm going to start with the hose test, but before doing this, I just wanted to note this. This is where all of the air is going to pass through, so we're not going to see very good numbers from this, just because of the limited amount of space the air has to actually flow through the, uh, adapter all right Okay, and on to the box test. You know, I thought it would do a little bit more similar to that Hoover Dimension that I tested because it, uh, its fan diameter, if I remember right, was about three and a half inches, just like the Dimension, so...
And I know when I replaced the armature on this thing that I got the uh, correct part number for it, so I, I can't figure out why it's not running at its 10 amp label unless they just straight up lied about it. <laughs> it's possible. I mean, we have seen some units which don't pull a wattage anywhere near what they say. Like Rainbow. At least the newer ones. But, you know, it's certainly still not a bad machine. Pretty solid and probably better than most of the things out there today. Ah, yes. Project machine. Lots and lots of those awaiting a new bearing plate. A Eureka 2034. So, that should be up and running tomorrow. And hopefully I'll get around to videoing that this weekend.